ex guess is convinced that someone or something is living in his house. Take a look at this. I moved into this house in June of 79 with my parents and my other sister. I thought it was fabulous. It was great. You know, kids dream. Now looking back, it's a, it's a nightmare. I would hear footsteps at 3 o'clock in the morning, up and down the stairs, down the hallway, door slamming. You know, it's just a weird thing. And as a family, blew it off. We were like, oh, there's nothing wrong. It's just, it's an old house. It's settling. It's no big deal. Uh, until recently, now, when we walk into this home, the next minute you're feeling you're being pushed. You know, now they're angry. I get an angry presence, especially on the third floor of the home. Somebody that's very angry. From what I've seen, this black shadowy figure. The shadow figure is just terrifying. It looks like a man, but it's just it's like a black hole, like a, a dark, empty hole. I brought the paranormal people in to debunk the fact of me being crazy. Well, my name is Allison Lynch, and I'm with Real Hauntings Investigation Group. Kirk had contacted our group, and he wanted to know if he was crazy or if these things were really happening in his home. When we arrived at Kirk's house, we set up every piece of equipment we had. After a little bit, things started going kind of berserk. We heard a girl's voice scream, and then we saw the apparition appearing in one of the room and we all just stopped and looked and it was unbelievable. In my 20 years of doing this, I have never seen anything like that in my life. Never. Please welcome Kirk and his wife Kelly to the show. Thank you. Kirk, what's been happening? Well, I mean, we get it, so what do you, what do you want to know? Who I want to know are? who they are. Emma. Why? No, Ella, I'm sorry, Ella and Edward. Um, M A L C Malcolm. Okay, he killed her. Now I don't mean to be mean to the medium, but she hasn't seen much. If that's the worst thing she's ever seen, um, um, I I think it's so important that you go and. Call him by name. Ask that the Christ light surrounds you. Tell them to go home, they're dead. Take salt and go around your whole house. I swear to you. And then take a crucifix and go through every room. You'll get rid of them. Ella and Edward. But you have to call them by name. It's so important because they don't know if you're talking to them. It would be like me saying something and she's back there. She thinks I'm talking to her. Do you see what I'm saying? Well, my next question is why, over the last couple of months, they're more active? Sometimes, and I've had this happen to me and I had to go back, sometimes by having somebody come in, especially if they're not identified, riles them up. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, seems like my friends and I are more compelled to keep going back to the house. I'm trying to put it on the market, and it seems like there's always something stalling us, drawing well, us why back. don't you just get rid of it? The house is a, a lovely house. Oh, you know, it would be like if I said you have squirrels in your attic, okay, and they're driving you crazy, then get an exterminator. That's what we're really doing. We're exterminating, not killing, because they're already dead, you know, exterminating ghosts. Unless you like it. <laughs> no. And if you like hanging out with ghosts, it's okay. But they're not going to. I, I go back to this. They don't hurt the feeling you. Feeling of being pushed and that stuff. No. That may be stuff. See, okay, well, you, you just said that when she said they don't hurt you, you're thinking that they can, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, but if you're thinking that they can, let me ask you one question for a second. Did you ever do anything to this Ella or Edward or, or no. never, right? So you have no reason for those ghosts to want to come and jack you up, right? Yeah. Now, let's say I have family members who died in the World Trade Center. Don't you think that they have reason to go back and kick the you-know-what out of Osama bin Laden? No, no kidding. So by the if ghosts could do it, if ghosts could really go and do it, wreak havoc, there'd be a whole bunch of dead terrorists out there right now. I mean, exactly. Oh. Exactly. Let me take a break.